Alright, so the RNAV 35 right at Wiley Post. And the city maintains 6,000, expect a visual threat. And now, banner slashing to turn to 086. 37. So we're going to do that. 086 it is. And uh, you can see us turning the corner. 1281, Eagle Night 3, see On the map. He stopped us at four. We're supposed to be able to get out of three, but uh, I'm going to query him here in a minute if we don't get lower. I think he's got somebody on a visual, believe it or not. I guess if I get a little closer, I could get the visual too, but it ain't happening from here. A little light rain on the windshield. And uh, yeah, visibility's not bad, but it's not good enough for the visual, at least not from here. So three and a half miles to Mehoff which is uh, the intermediate fix. And um, supposed to be down to three by then, but see how it goes. That'd be uh, 356 on the heading there, or on the bearing, rather, to the station. And uh, that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna keep looking for the runway. We get it. 1437, proceed direct bridge, descend to maintain 4000. A direct bridge, descend to maintain 4000, brigade 1437. Number 40, tail pop, cleared on, have runway 35 right approach. Clear the RNAV uh, 35 right approach. 40, hotel pop, thank you. Alright, so now we can go down. Let's get that going down. And the banner's flashing, so we'll make our turn. To three five six. No, it's a HSI, not an EHSI, so I have to keep turning it. But I use the desired track column on the, the Garmin for that Four information. Hotel Papa, can I call the post tower one two six point enter? Uh, twenty six nine, it's long for Hotel Papa. I have to keep switching hands to use the microphone. Twenty six nine. Wiley Post Tower, it's Malibu 40, Hotel Papa, Mihoff inbound. Malibu 40, Hotel Papa, Wiley Post Tower, report the final marker for runway 35 right, sir. Uh, Wilco, uh, 40, Hotel Papa. I'm not paying attention here, this autopilot's turning kind of slow, so I'm giving it a little help. And, uh, of course, we're going to go to the approach mode. Uh, there we go. That'll help. Okay, so activate, that means a magenta line in your future and a banner inside the approach banner, or a magenta line, arrow inside the approach banner. Flip the frequency, this is an RNAV, so we don't, don't need a frequency. Flop the CDI, this is a GPS, so we leave it in GPS. Set the course, we did that, ID it, and we did that earlier with the info button here on the GMX 200. So now the airplane's slowly turning back. This is really weird because, of course, there's seven seven runway three five right clear for takeoff. There's an airport right here, and you look out the window, you go, "Crap, is that where I'm landing?" And of course, it isn't. So, um, Wiley Post is uh, dead ahead eight miles, and we got about an hour and ten minutes or so of fuel, so this is working out just fine. There's our alternate right out the window there. All right, I hate to be a pessimist, but uh, runway's already in sight, so it's really to do here except pick up the VASI and fly it manually. So I'll try to set this up. There's some rain on the windshield, so this may or may not work out, but I set the camera up here, see if I can't get uh, get this landing. See a bean bag or something. Tower, it's uh, four zero Hotel Papa at uh, Norm. The four zero Hotel Papa runway three five right, clear to land. Uh, clear to land three five right, four zero Hotel Papa. Stay steer, Diner seven seven, contact Oklahoma City departure. Diner seven seven, we'll see you. Thanks. Huh? All right, so uh, autopilot comes off. Get a descent, and we'll go with.
with uh, go down, gear down, notch of flaps, power to 20 inches. This course, as you may already know, is going to give us a category Bravo aircraft, 120 knots. I got four, uh, well, three white lights and a red one. I, I delayed a little bit so I could say it. I, I could actually do it faster than I could say it. I guess most people can. So here we go. Let's go with fuel pump on, landing light on. We have clearance pulse lights to be on. Strobes uh, we'll have on here below 10. And a notch of flaps alternator is open. We're still in the rain, so I'm not doing anything with that. So I'm going to set up the crab. I'm pressing the left rudder bring the aircraft back to the center line. I'm observing the center line as a pistol sight. 288 Papa is ready to go. Three, five, so, uh, the near, the front sight is the far end of the center of the runway, and the near sight on the pistol is the threshold center line. So what I'm doing is working the aircraft back to the left here, such that the center line, at, uh, the near edge of the center line, and the far edge of the center line are aligned. Uh, with my eye. I'm using my left eye today because the camera is in front of my right eye. Since I'm left eye dominant, this should work out. I'm right on 120 knots, just a tad high. Um, so I'm really not going to touch a thing. I'm going to just lower the nose just a little. And I'm going to begin to slow down first by adding the second notch of flaps. And I'm going to trim forward, trim down, because in a low wing airplane, the pitch tendency is up with flaps. Thank you, Betty. We're 120 knots, 500 feet above. We're still a tad high, but I like it this way, particularly in an unfamiliar airport. I am aimed for the aim point, not the threshold. The aim point are the white captain's bars, the two white rectangles, 1,000 feet down, not including the display threshold, which is not offered to us for landing. When I want slower, I'm in the white arc now, I go ahead and add full flaps. And I'm, I'm just using the rudder to slew the wings to keep me over the center line. We have three green, the runway appears clear. I'm going to recommend we continue. I'm running the trim to lose the rate of descent. And now I'm just squeezing off the, th the throttle back to idle. And just before the nose feels like it's going to bump, a little rudder for the crosswind, raise the nose, and let the weft the weft, yeah, the left wheel, right wheel, and then the center tire touch. And then I get my feet up on the brakes, and I use back pressure on the yoke with the brakes. Four zero Hotel Papa, if we'll uh, exit there at Alpha 5, hold short of the parallel taxiway, and contact White Coast Ground on point seven three. Exit Alpha 5, and hold short of the parallel, and contact ground. Uh, four zero Hotel Papa. Number 288 Papa Charlie, runway 35 right, cleared for takeoff. All right, so we're clearing here. Right. I'm going to clear tail and all. Must. Absolutely must. I'm going to hold short of the parallel. And there's no uh, line for the parallel, so I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning up and get over to uh, ground. Uh, Uh, up to 3,000, expect 250 in uh, 10 minutes. Oak City, departure 124.2, squawk 2234. Feedback correct. We're ready to taxi with Victor. You coming out of Atlantic? That's correct. Roger, runway 35 right, taxi via Alpha 3 and Alpha, cross runway 31. 35 right, Alpha, Alpha 3, cross, right, crossing 31. That ground, it's uh, 40 Hotel Papa. Clear 35 right, Alpha 5, request taxi to Atlantic. 40 Hotel Papa, Wally Post Ground. Uh, Roger, turn right there on Alpha, left on Alpha 3 to park. Give way the aircraft coming out of Atlantic. Could be making a left turn to the south. All right, right on Alpha and uh, left into Atlantic. 40 Hotel Papa. All right, not too complicated. And I'm also looking at the chart here. You can't see that from this position, but here's what I'm looking at. November 119 or Kilo Alpha, looking for an IFR clearance to uh, Beachfield. Bravo Control. Kilo 119. And I would Kilo prefer the, clear to the, the north up display. Echo Charlie Airport. So if we go the, uh, menu, radar vectors to join the go from track up park. Uh, Pioneer no, 19 track up 360s. That's not bad. Pioneer. Then we got to zoom way in. Victor 77 to Wichita, and then direct Bravo Echo Charlie on 
Initial departure, turn right, heading 010. Zero, zero. So, there we go. Yeah, it's an auto zoom. Expect 13010. I did a clean up while it's waiting. Uh, pump off, landing light off. Pulse goes to taxi. Squawk 3457. Nav lights are still on. All right, radar Flaps are up, hots are off. off of, uh, We're all set there. Actually, so I, I see my marshal. That one, but then uh, Pioneer the 195, Victor, then over to Pioneer, Victor 77 to ICT, then direct. Initial heading 010 up to 3000, expect 1 3000. Archers 124.2, squawking 3457. Roger, routing uh, Will Rogers 355 radial, Pioneer 195 to Pioneer, Victor 77, Wichita direct. All right, the Wheel Rogers 355 radar. Uh, then the 195 for uh, Pioneer and then Victor 77 things. How'd you read back, correct? Okay, we're there. Nice job.